good morning students today we are going to do nutrition in amoeba as you know amoeba is a unicellular organism amoeba eats tiny microscopic plants and animals such as food which float in water in which it lives the mode of nutrition in amoeba is holozoic that means amoeba follows mode of nutrition that is holozoic nutrition the process of obtaining food by amoeba is called phagocytosis phagocytosis means feeding the various steps involved in the nutrition of amoeba are ingestion digestion absorption assimilation ejection now we are going to discuss one by one all these steps first of all we will consider ingestion this diagram shows ingestion in the very first step amoeba has no mouth see amoeba has irregular shape it is not having any mouth it is not having any fixed place for ingestion of food from where the food enters it is as it is having no fixed place amoeba inject food by using pseudopodia so these are the pseudopodia these are locomotory organ of amoeba so these pseudopodia what the pseudopodia do it inject food it inject food when the food particle comes very near to this so the food ingest it ingest food with the finger like it is like a finger so we can say finger like projection called pseudopodia food is engulfed food is engulfed in a food vacuole inside the amoeba food vacuole is a temporary stomach of the amoeba that means food vacuole it will form a food vacuole food which it is engulfed by the pseudopodia finger like projection called pseudopodia the food engulfed food in the vac vacuoles this vacuoles are temporary stomach of the amoeba so this is the ingestion process second step of nutrition in amoeba is digestion so how food is digested the food which is ingested in the body of the amoeba with the help of finger like projection so now we are going to describe digestion so in amoeba food is digested in the food vacuole by digestive enzymes so these is the diagram how the digestive enzymes enter into the food vacuole so they digest the food so these enzymes enters from the surrounding cytoplasm you see here is the cytoplasm from here the enzymes enter inside the food vacuole this is the food vacuole and this is the food particle this is the food particle which is inside the food vacuole now from the cytoplasm from the cytoplasm enzyme gets entered into the food vacuole it is broken it break down into small small pieces and soluble molecules by the chemical reaction so with the help of the enzymes a chemical reaction starts so soluble molecules are formed by the chemical reaction so this is the digestion digestion takes place inside the vacuole due to which food dissolves now the next after this digestion food is absorbed so the next step is absorption so this is the absorption diagram for the absorption so the digested food is absorbed directly by the cytoplasm this cytoplasm directly absorb the food by diffusion method so by diffusion method the food is absorbed 
द अमीबा अमीबा डज नॉट रिक्वायर ब्लड सिस्टम टू कैरी द डाइजेस्टेड फूड दिस डाइजेस्टेड फूड जस्ट स्प्रेड आउट फ्रॉम द फूड वैक्यूल इन टू द होल ऑफ द अमीबा सेल आफ्टर एब्जॉर्बन ऑफ फूड द फूड वैक्यूल डिसअपियर्स सो दिस फूड वैक्यूल डिसअपियर्स आफ्टर दैट फूड वैक्यूल इज डिसअपियर्स इफ द फूड इज डाइजेस्टेड विद हेल्प ऑफ द एनजाइम्स सो एनजाइम्स डाइजेस्ट द फूड एंड डाइजेस्टेड फूड डिफ्यूज इन साइड मीन्स नाउ द डाइजेस्टेड फूड इज डिफ्यूज डिफ्यूज आउट ऑफ दिस अमीबा सो एब्जॉर्बन ऑफ फूड आफ्टर द एब्जॉर्बन द फूड वैक्यूल डिसअपियर्स फूड वैक्यूल इज डिस आफ्टर फूड एब्जॉर्बन नाउ द नेक्स्ट इज टू एसिमिलेट द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज एसिमिलेशन सो ए पार्ट ऑफ फूड एब्जॉर्ब इन द अमीबा a part of food which is absorbed in the amoeba cell it is used to get energy through the respiration it is used to get the energy through the respiration and the remaining food is used to make a part of amoeba cell which leads to growth of the cell so by this food remaining food amoeba size increases that means amoeba is growing thus on assimilating food amoeba grows in size amoeba can reproduce by dividing into two daughter cells so this is the assimilation process in assimilation food is divided into two part first absorbed food first part of the food is used for respiration and second part that is remaining food is used for the amoeba cell which helps in growing of the size of the amoeba assimilating main function is to grow the amoeba into size and amoeba grow into by dividing daughter cells now the food after assimilated so now the food will be digested out ejected out of the body of the amoeba amoeba having no fixed place like anus for removing the food undigested part of the food when a considerable amount of undigested food collects inside the body of the amoeba then its cell membrane suddenly ruptures at any place and undigested food is thrown out of the body of the amoeba so this process is called ejection i will repeat once again as the food is assimilated it is used for growing in the size and amoeba is having no fixed place to have to excrete the undigested food undigested particle of food out of their body so it gets un and the food which gets inside the membrane starts rupturing so when the membrane ruptures so this cell membrane gets rupture from this tearing the food undigested the food which is undigested it is passed out of the body of the amoeba so that is only possible when there is rupturing of this cell membrane so as in this way the food is thrown out of the body of the amoeba these are the five steps which are very necessary for the nutrition of the amoeba first step is ingestion second is digestion third is absorption fourth is assimilation and fifth is ejection how the food is ingested out of the body how the food is taken inside the body through the ingestion process after that digestion is there assimilation is there uh, last is ejection food is ejected or removed out of the body of the amoeba so this is the whole nutrition in amoeba similarly nutrition in paramecium also because paramecium is also a single celled organi organism so in the amoeba food is ingested through the pseudopodia finger like projection pseudopodia that is the locomotory organ of the amoeba through the pseudopodia so food gets enter inside the body of the amoeba similarly in the paramecium so it is having hair like structure hair like projection so that is cilia with the help of the cilia food enters inside the body of the paramecium and rest all the processes are same as in the amoeba we have discussed 
this is the diagram of paramecium so this hair like structures are present in the body of the paramecium these are the locomotory organ are called cilia c i l i a so similar processes are taken first of all when food particle comes in front of the uh, paramecium so cilia gets help uh, give, gives help in uh, entering the food particles inside the body of the paramecium similar processes are taken so like uh, ingestion uh, ingestion process uh, uh, the locomotory organ is different other rest uh, other things are same how the paramecium puts the food particles inside the mouth with the help of the cilia after that assimilation is there digestion of food is there absorption of food is there last uh, uh, ingestion of the food is there similar in case of paramecium so these are all the uh, both the topics which i have discussed so in the nutrition of amoeba and paramecium so i have discussed so if you are having any doubt regarding this please ask and uh, give me the uh, your questions in the chat box i will try my best to give you the answers thank you